Hello YouTube, good morning. So it's the 27th of January, 9.34 a.m. in the morning. And uh, today I decided to make a video of um, perhaps also one of the most asked questions and uh, perhaps the most uh, uh, one thing people wanted to know the answer to it. And uh, I hope this is information informational to you. So the question is uh, whether premium fuel actually gives your car better fuel economy. And um, last week, I actually attempted to. Uh, I actually pumped around ninety seven, which is uh, the second highest grade available in Malaysia. Uh, it's a Shell Run ninety seven. Uh, at the time of point, I pumped it per liter is about two ringgit and thirty five cents. It's now the two thirty something. It's around that region. And Run ninety five is the cheapest alternative. Is about ten cents cheaper. So I've pumped it. Uh, full tank and uh, I run it down the whole tank until the pump fuel uh, gauge uh, like comes up and let's see the uh, fuel mal uh, history of it and see what does it do alright okay so uh, just ignore the first which is this is a different fuel so just ignore this and this and just focus on the first previous 6034 and uh, this is the RON 97 which I've pumped uh, and um, the computer chat actually recorded 10.2 kilometers per liter and um, like all previous videos for the purposes I actually maintain my uh, my trip the journeys and uh, the road they have taken it is the same it's a normal daily drive uh, I did not take excessive highway journeys and stuff like that because as we all know if you are running on highways you definitely get better mileage um, my driving is as, is as normal as you can get you know back commuting between workplace and home and uh, some very very little highway driving which is you know, normal and uh, some traffic jam or not so according to the trip uh, computer of my car Ron 97 actually recorded 10.2 km per liter and uh, in contrast you can compare second previous one is actually on 95 uh, this is from the previous one is this also on 95 but I think this one we have to ignore because Particularly on this trip, I've uh, traveled way too much on highway because of some assignments, so we can ignore this. So you can compare 9.8 and then 10.2. So you can see uh, 9.8 is on running on run 95, which is the cheaper alternative. And when I pump in 9 point, uh, run 97, I achieve 10.2 km per liter. So according to the history of uh, the, the car's trip, on board trip computer, uh, it seems that it appears that RON 97 actually has better fuel consumption or uh, better fuel efficiency compared to RON 95 but uh, the difference isn't really that significant it's only about 0 0.8, 9, 10, 12, about 0.4 km per litre mm, whether or not this is uh, in a sufficient reason for you to change to, uh, to pumping 97 instead of 95 uh, it's up to you but the price difference of 10 cent per litre uh, and you know because Malaysia now has this actually floating fuel pricing thing or not uh, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide yourself but for me I think uh, I'll continue pumping run 95 because um, I don't really think it makes much difference anyway and, uh, maybe maybe when uh, I'll try to pump run 100 apparently that's the highest grade available right now and only Petron has it and not all Petron few kiosks has it so I need to find it and um, you know pump it and when I do uh, I will make a video of it to see whether does it really affects you know fuel consumption but as far as I'm concerned right now the trip computer actually recorded a better fuel consumption for around 97 so I hope this video is uh, helpful to you guys if you guys need to you know really need that answer you know you have to know whether it does does it affect yes it does and uh, in terms of performance wise, drivability, uh, I don't feel any difference, I don't feel any extra responsiveness, extra acceleration, and if there is at all, it's negligible to me. So yeah, so I think it, it's bas it basically just boils down to the fuel consumption and maybe perhaps it's better for the environment because of the emission, I don't know. So yeah, so thanks for watching guys and uh, see you on the next video.